All right, let's help you out with the operating systems challenge, the Raspberry Pi challenge. Number one, make a folder called things. MKDIR will make a folder or a directory. And then the name of the folder you want to make. Uh, then change directory to the things folder. I'm going to do ls just to check that that things actually worked. Good. cd space things. That is how you change directory or change folder. Create a file in the current direct directory called sayhi.py. Um, to make a file, you can do nano and then the name of the file. And this will make it in the current folder, so in things. Um, now we want to add some content to it. We want to, to say print hello. There you go. Um, so you can just type it. If you need another line, then you can type the other line. But we don't need that in this case. To save, you need to write out. This symbol here is control, so I want to do control O. And then you just press enter. Now to exit the program, I can do control X. We'll exit the program. Uh, next step, we want to print the contents of that file. So I can do cat say underscore hi dot py. I use tab to make sure that the file is really there. Good. So that's the contents of the file. The next step is to um, copy this. So to copy the say hi file. Copy is the cp command. We do cp, the name of the file, and then the new name of the file. The new name needs to be hello.py in this case. So this will copy that to be this. Hopefully now, if I do ls, both of them are in there. Next step, remove the file called say hi. I can do rm, we'll remove that file, remove say hi.py, and that will delete that file. Let's do ls to check. Good, it deleted the file. Uh, next step is to uh, run the Python file called hello.py. To run a Python file, we do Python 3 and then the name of the Python file, and that will run it. Successful, nice. Next step is to install the program called Calsay. Just to prove that Calsay isn't installed, I'm going to run it. We can see it's not found. To install it, I do sudo apt install, and then the name of that program. So that will install, it'll go on the internet, uh, it'll ask to confirm. If you want to continue, you can do Y and then enter, or you can just press enter, and then it will download that program and install it for you. Obviously, you need to be connected to the internet for this to work. Okay, the next step, run the program cow say hi, cow say hi, it's a cow saying hi, brilliant. Uh, the next step is to remove the program, sudo at remove, cow say is how you remove a program. Sudo at remove and then the name of the program. Okay, next step, get your own IP address. That one is really easy, we run the command called IP address. You'll notice that there are a few INET, INET is the um, internet address, the IP address. That one is not what we want, that's the local address. This one is the one we want, INET, and then something that's not 127. Um, yours might say WLAN for wireless LAN. Mine says Ethernet because it's connected through Ethernet. Whew. Okay, uh, next step, convert google.com to an IP address. To do that, we can ping it. Pinging does two things, it converts it to an IP address, um, and also tells us the round trip time, that is the IP address for google.com. 172.217.167.78. It might be different on your computer. Check the round trip time to ping 8.8.8.8. .8 ping 8.8.8.8. .8 the time is about 20, about 30 milliseconds or so, 25 milliseconds. So that's the time to send a packet to that server and that server to respond. Create a server that listens on port 6543. NCLP6543. Beautiful, listen, listening. Um, I actually, on yours, I also use the dash V to show uh, print extra information about what's happening. So good, it is listening. Uh, if you're not sure, by the way, you can do man NC to look in the manual, and there should be an example on creating a server underneath the options. If you go all the way underneath the options, Sometimes there's an example. I think on yours there is, but on mine there's not. It's a little bit different. Okay, um, that was my server. Good, I'll leave that running. Next step, connect to your server that is listening. To do that, I'm going to need a new terminal, so I'll make a new one. And I would need to connect to my own computer, 127.0.0.1, or I could type my IP address in, on 6543. 
Good. I probably should have, to be honest, done the dash V. Dash V gives you a little bit more information. That's something you can do, but you don't have to. You may find dash V helpful so it tells you what's happening. Okay, next step. Send the text hey there from the client to the server. This one was the server because I was listening, so this is the client. So I want to do hey there. That's from the client to the server. Now send hi yourself from the server back to the client. This one here is the server because this one is the one that is listening. Enter. This is done. I've done this task. I'll just check that it worked. Yep, the message came through. So I'm going to do control C, control C, we'll quit. Uh, next step, scan hackthissite.org using nmap, nmap hackthissite.org, uh, sudo apt install nmap. If I don't have it installed, you will probably find that it's installed on your computer already from the challenges we've already done. And that will install. That one actually takes quite a while to install, unfortunately. Um, Obviously, we have consent to hack this site. It is important to make sure that any site that you do a port scan on or that you attempt to gain information on, any kind of web server, any kind of computer, you need to make sure that you have permission from the owner. Um, otherwise, the penalties are quite steep. Anyway, nmap hackthissite.org. This will go do its thing. It will take a while. Um, you can press enter and that will tell you about its progress. You can see that it's going to take a little bit longer. While that's going on, I may as well do the last challenge. The last challenge was to SSH into rebex.net. That's the host name. The IP, sorry, the username is demo. So username at that, demo at that. And the password, well, it will ask the password. If I press enter, it will connect. I hope. <laughs> um, this might actually be blocked due to firewalls at the moment, I'm not exactly sure, but we'll come to that later. Um, the end map finished, uh, the ports that are open are port 80 and port 443, port 22 is not open, port 22 is closed. It came up but port 22 is definitely closed here, the only ports that are open are port 40 and, sorry, port 80 and port 443. So this was for the previous nmap task. Um, this one appears to be stuck. Um, well, that's a shame. Anyway, in principle, you type that and then you type the password and then you can run commands. It says to list the files in the folder. So I would do ls and then press enter and then it will work. Boom, that's the revision task, done.